This is my cat Zoe. Ten years ago, my family adopted her and her sister from the Humane Society. If you plan to adopt a pet, that is a great place to look because it opens up space for other animals in the shelter and it's a way to fight against puppy mills, which are factory style breeding facilities that put profit above the welfare of dogs. Dogs that come from puppy mills are often sick and have lasting behavior issues because they are mistreated. These puppies are often sold on the internet and even in unsuspecting pet stores. I believe animals should be treated with kindness. That is why I developed this ad campaign. Animals cannot speak or stand up for themselves. Our human voices can be heard. Animals rely on humans to help convince the world that they deserve to be treated with kindness. My first ad shows just that. This ad uses pathos to convince people to be kind and stand up for animals. Even if you're not a cat person, how can you help but want to help this powerless kitten? This ad appeals to a person's emotion. This next ad appeals to emotion as well. It's similar to the first one and reminds us that animals that are victims of abuse are innocent victims. Those words are displayed with a larger font so that they stand out and our eyes are drawn to them. This ad also uses the rule of thirds. The words as well as the image of the dog have been placed so that your eyes naturally go to them. The next ad features singer-songwriter Sarah McLaughlin. She's the spokesperson for the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. This ad uses ethos because it features a celebrity. We tend to look up to celebrities and trust what they have to say. Many celebrities support different charities and causes because of their involvement. Others are persuaded to support these charities as well. This ad also uses pathos to help persuade us to help. One of Sarah McLaughlin's most well-known songs is entitled Angel, and her words, Will you be an angel for a helpless animal? Along with the beautiful dog she's photographed with appeals to people's emotions. This ad uses logos to persuade people to be kind to animals. This ad reminds us of how useful animals are to our society. Not only are they loving companions, but they can be trained to be useful and helpful. This ad features a dog behind bars. Obviously, the dog is powerless on his own. The ad lists many of the ways that dogs can be useful. This dog, however, can only be useful if someone shows kindness by letting this dog out from behind the bars and show it some love. All the ads are written to persuade people to show kindness and care for animals. Even if you don't want to own a pet, you can help by donating time or money to charities that support animal rights. All the ads use rhetorical devices to convince people to treat animals the way they deserve to be treated.